this is a video about how to replace the fans and your biocube. This is an oceanic biocube, but it also works for the other brand. And we're discussing replacing the fans, which are located underneath the main hood. So as you know, the fans that come with the, uh, the biocube 14, as I'll refer to it from now on in this video, um, they come with some pretty crappy fans. Um, I did not get my BioCube new. I actually got it off free cycle for free. Someone was offering it and I said, hey, I'm going to do it. So I can put one in my uh, living room that my wife probably won't mind and uh, display some of my uh, fish. So anyways, there's two things when it comes to fans. First off, you're going to need a 12 volt fan if you're going to replace your fan on this. Okay, oftentimes if you read this, it says DC 12 volt. Um, computer fans are sometimes 12 volt, basically almost all the time 12 volt, so you can use one of those. But this is a fan I picked up off of uh, eBay. I was uh, doing some LED lighting uh, experimentation, and I needed a fan to dissipate the heat out of the thing. Um, this is a brushless type fan. There are different types of fans out there. There's ball bearing and there's brushless. So when I first replaced the original fans that like basically quit the first week I was using it, but again, it was used. I don't know how long it was used before that, but they were pretty noisy to begin with. And I figured, oh, maybe it's just because they have all that stuff trapped in there. You know, I didn't get to, to really mess with them or anything. But um, I put these in first. And I was going to make a video then, but then I was like, wow, you know, it's still making a lot of noise. I mean, this thing sounded like a jet engine to me and in my living room where I have my TV and stuff. So I researched online and I found these wonderful fans that are very quiet. And uh, they're these fans, which I'm thinking about selling on eBay in the future, but this video is not a total marketing tool here. So this is more about how to replace the fans, but I recommend these. They're the Sun On maglevs and they're only 17 decibels each so i'm going to go and demonstrate i have one of these running in an led light fixture that i made and i have this running on the bio cube. i have two of these running and we'll compare the difference all right so this is uh my den where i have a bunch of tanks too this is the uh, brushless one not, not the the sun on the sun on whatever it's called but i'll be quiet and the fans right there you can hear it And it's really quiet for a fan still, but when you're in your living room and you want to watch TV and uh, you have a wife that doesn't like a lot of sound, uh, we're musicians in my house, um, it makes you want to get rid of this fan. So now we'll go compare with the uh, Sunon, I'm going to call them Sunon fans, um, that I currently have installed, and then we'll get to how to install the fans into the uh, BioCube. So now here we are at the uh, BioCube. Uh, these are the Sunon fans, okay? I'll put it right near the intake. Right near the outtake of the BioCube. And they have some noise to them, but honestly, sorry about the focusing, honestly, there's not as much noise as the standard fans that come with the BioCubes or even that cheap 12 volt fan I used and uh, I'll, I'll let, let's do it from a distance a little bit right here I mean they're so quiet I don't even recognize that they're on or off sometimes and I had to, I, I double check for days I took this video after trying them for days to make sure that they actually work so uh, yeah um, let's get into how to install these fans and uh, like I said I recommend the Sunon fans that I bought online and that I might sell in the future on eBay but for now we'll just go with how to install these things okay so the first step to getting to the fans uh, there are four screws one in there here two three and four you're gonna want to take those out and then this plastic piece will come off so make sure that you keep track of it when you're on the last screw I'll do that now I'm going to the second step once you have the plastic shield taken off, what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew this screw. And there's another screw up here. There's two screws and then this plastic, uh, actually sheet metal piece will come off and the fans will be located at these vents. 
So now you have the metal piece taken off and the plastic cover taken off. And you now have the wiring and the fans exposed. There's two fans. There's one here, which points in. The label will always tell you the direction of the airflow. So if the label's pointing out on this other one, which it should, it pulls the air out. So it sucks air in and it pulls it out there. Um, really simple on these fans. They just have four screws. Uh, with the Sunons I replaced, they won't go in all the way, but they definitely go in enough of the way to support the fan. So to take this fan off, whatever fan you have, it doesn't matter because they all mount in the same place. Uh, you want to make sure that you have, I believe it's 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter by 10 millimeter uh, size fans. And I'll leave that in the description to let you know uh, what type of fans you need. But they just have to be able to fit in these mounts, and that is the normal size fan that fits in those mounts. So you're going to unscrew one, two, three, four. And on the second fan, it's the same thing. It just points outward, so the label's pointing out. You go one, two, three, four. Um, I'm only going to replace or show you how to replace this one fan. Uh, pretend that this one's broken right now, and you unscrew these four screws. So we're going to start there. As you get to the last screw here, which is right in the whole corner there, sorry. My screwdriver's pointing to it. Sorry, it's a little dark. Um, you want to make sure that, that you support this fan because it's going to pop right out. Okay, so let's just try to, I'll take it out by hand, and then it will, it will pop right out, right there. So the four screws are what hold it down. And if you notice, I have no problem leaving my fan there, because if you have fans running, the condensation does not happen there. All right, so the last step to taking a fan out is you have to know where these little wires go. Um, just follow the wires from the fan. You'll see that they have two places right here. This is one fan and this is two. It really doesn't matter which one goes where because they just turn on with the with the main light, not the uh, the blue one, but just the regular full spectrum light. And you just pull it out, being careful. And you know you got any one of these connectors. And then you take the fan out. And then you just gotta put the new fan in. Now, one thing I want you to understand about these Sunon fans is when I ordered them, they did not come with this connector. So you're probably wondering, geez, where did I get this connector? Well, I just did some soldering. Uh, if you move the label up a little bit, you'll see that there's two soldering points. If you look at the board, it says positive and negative. Um, I just got the other cheap fans that I had. You could also buy these uh, wires with that connector on it on eBay, but uh, I just had some extras, and so I just soldered it on there. Um, for those of you who don't solder, don't want to solder, aren't used to soldering, um, if I do end up selling these on eBay, I will be doing the soldering for you so that it's just easy plug and play. Uh, other people have said, and this is true, that you can just cut the wires up high, I would hope, so that we have a little extra leeway, and you strip them, and you connect them into the old wires of the old fan um myself i'm not i'm not much into splicing if i don't have to i like clean installs so that's why i just soldered this wire on and again it's important to notice what's positive and negative here and also that on this connector if you are going to wire it my old fans the ones with the cheap ones from ebay that i told you about in the beginning of this video see how there's like those little two things on the connectors you gotta make sure your red is on the left and the black is on the right because that's the way that it's designed to work with the bio cube so if you're going to solder make sure you put the wires on the right way for the connector too not just on the circuit board underneath the uh, label here and again if i do sell these on ebay i'll do all that for you and i'll also make sure and test to make sure it's working before i ship them out so not a full marketing play, I hope. More about how to replace the fans on this video, but just some thoughts in mind. All right, let's pretend this is our new fan now. All you're going to do is you're going to connect it back in here. Okay, remember that those are those two little lines right there? They go onto the little indentation on the side. It only goes in one way, so as long as you got the wiring right, you're all set. You pop it in there. Pop it in the top one. Okay. And then it's just a matter of bolting these fans back on. 
Don't know if you could see this. Sorry, that's very dark in here. I don't have good lighting, and I wish I did, but I don't. But there's four posts. One, two, three, four. They have holes in them, and that's where your fan is going to screw in. So, again, the label up on this side because you want the airflow to come in. And it'll be the same thing on this one. You're just going to replace it in the different input below the one I used. You gotta make that have the label go out so the air goes out. So the next step, which I'm gonna do now, is I'm just gonna place the four screws. Just make sure you line it up with those holes underneath. Sometimes that can be a little uh, challenging. A little challenging, not much. And uh, you line it up, put the screws back in. So I just screw this fan back in after wiring it in, okay? You would do the same thing on the second one. Uh, the wire comes out of here, okay? And you just pull out the fan by unscrewing it, pulling out, and again, you'd point that one with the label going out. And then after you replace both fans, what you want to do is just go in reverse. You want to install that stainless shield, this little sheet metal shield thing with two screws. Okay, so put that on. All right. And the last step, after you, get, you tighten up your sheet thing, is honestly just to put the plastic thing back around. And there's just four holes. And you screw it back in and you're all set and that's it that's what it should look like when you get done and hopefully this whole time you kept the power off so you switch it back on and if you notice every time you turn the full spectrum light this is what you're going to hear there's some concerns i had about uh these fans before I ordered them was that they have less cubic feet per minute. I forget what the spec specification was, but I will try to find it, put it in the description. But honestly, I wanted to test this for a couple days before I showed all of you. And uh, it's kept my tank at 79 degrees. Right now it's at 78.9. Don't know if you can see that. But, um, you know, it's still kind of high, but the good news is I'm not using the heater, which I have set to 77. I have a heater installed. Okay. It hasn't gone on once, basically. Um, I don't know about the summer. I know that um, we're in December, uh, January right now. Well, it's mostly December where I did the test, but summer, January um, in New England. So the temperatures have actually been pretty warmer, much warmer than usual, uh, probably 40s and 50s. And again, the tank's been keeping at 79 degrees, which is part of the reason why you want the fans. But uh, these fans are wonderful, way better than the stock. And by the way, just to end this, they are ball bearing, so they will last longer because they're meant to be mounted in multiple positions. Whereas the original ones were uh, brushless and uh, they were only meant to be mounted vertically and not horizontally. So that's why a lot of times the fans, one, they're cheap and two, they break a lot. And they're very noisy on the BioCube. So yeah, I recommend, you know, this is far away. Uh, I notice I have a kid too, but uh, you can hardly hear it. And it's in the living room and it hasn't been much of a problem at all. Sometimes I don't even know if they're there. So I highly recommend that. But overall, this is how you also change the fans on your BioCube.